So in this example, we're looking at a situation in which there's nothing being added to the variable term uh, when y is isolated on one side. In other words, uh, we're looking at uh, what we'll later know as a direct variation. And what that means is that the x and y intercept are the same. They're the origin. When nothing's being added to the variable term, the, the x term, uh, if we plug in x equals 0, we get y equals 0. If we plug in y equals 0, we get x equals 0. So we'll show that with this example. Let's look for the x-intercept. And ultimately, all this means is that since the x and y-intercept are the same, we'll have to find an additional point. So essentially, we're, we're kind of going back to uh, what we did originally, graphing the linear equation by plotting points. Uh, the difference is that one of them will be the origin, which is both the x intercept and the y intercept. So if y equals 0, we have 4x equals 0, which means x equals 0. For the y intercept, x equals 0. So 4, so y, we'll start with y since that's what's up there first. On the left hand side, y equals 4 times 0, which equals 0. So what this means is that when x is 0, y is 0, and vice versa. When y is 0, x is 0. So one of the points is the origin. Now we simply need to pick two other points. Uh, we can use an input or an output. In this case, it makes more sense to use an input. So we'll use, let's say, x equals negative 2. If x equals negative 2, y equals 4 times negative 2 which equals negative 8. So x equals negative 2, y equals negative 8. That gives us the point negative 2, negative 8. And finally, let's use x equals 2. So y equals 4 times 2, which equals 8. So when x equals 2, y equals 8, which gives us the point 2, 8. Now we simply plot our points, so negative 2 negative 8, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 0, it goes through the origin, and at 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all three points do line up, and then again, it's just a matter of connecting the dots. So we draw a line through the three points. And this is the graph of y equals 4x.